You're trying to be like your mother, overseeing things from afar. But you are not her. I'm sorry about Mara. I'm sorry, not her. You're a bad friend. That's not what they need. My people turned our planet, all of Etheria, into a weapon. Podcast character designs done by Demon Artie. Like fan art, redesigns, original art, then Demon Artie's the artist you're going to want to follow. Be sure to check her out over on Twitter, at Artie Demon. If you like what you see, also consider supporting Demon Artie over on Patreon. For only $3 a month, you get access to Patreon-only community, concept art, voting on new art, bonus sketches, and the all-important fan service. So definitely check her out over on Patreon, because supporting independent art and artists is important. Season 5, Episode 5 of Shiro and the Princesses of Power, Save the Cat. They're not even, they're not even trying with these titles anymore. <laughs> and this is the one everyone told me, oh, this is the best episode ever. And um, so I always, when people get in the comments and, they, you know, I read all the comments, even the ones that, you know, you guys don't like them very much, but I, I don't really care. But when people say, oh, this episode is going to be the best one, you're going to love it. It's going to, it's great. This, this you, you lied to me. You, you freaking lied to me. Anyone who said that only cared about one thing. They care about Catra and Adora. That's it. And they just want them to be together. They don't care about plot. They don't care about the story making any sense. They don't care about pacing. None of it matters. As long as their ship gets, they get to see it on screen. Guys, that, that always leads to bad stories. And, it, and this is just, this is very sloppy. It's uh, it's ham-fisted. It's uh, just pieced together. Just get Adora and Catra together. Get Adora and Catra together. Get Adora and Catra together. That's that's all the only concern of this whole entire season. But uh, we open up and just like it, the, the horrifically stupid plan of just showing up at Horde Prime's doorstep and just walking out, so they're going to do that. And we see Adora and they're getting, uh, and they don't even say tractor beam. Just say tractor beam. Just, just say something sci science fiction-y. No, they just say, oh, we're being pulled in by a force. <laughs> they don't care. Get the catcher in the door. So she gives herself up and... No one else is on the ship. And then she like makes this, she makes all these like snide remarks and I'm cool and I'm badass. I don't like that. This, this, um, the catcher did that a lot and now Adora's kind of doing it now. You won't find anything. I came alone. I hear Horde Prime's been looking for me. But she's like, there's no one on the ship. I came alone. And I'm thinking, well, they know. <laughs> they, they know there's other people on the ship. There's no way that Horde Prime doesn't have a scanning device of some kind where... There, they can scan for life signs and stuff. They never, they never show that he knew exactly what was going on. But later on in the episode, you can tell that he knew that they were sneaking about. But why even let it happen at all? Why, why let them get into these rooms and cause damage? So there's, there's no way he, he knew everything because he wouldn't have let them like later on like destroy stuff. So what in the world is going on here? What kind of security does he have? none where's the rest of those robots it just seems to be nothing but clones on the ships but anyways no one's on the ship and they 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 look for three seconds and they like, oh i guess we can believe her and um they were hiding on the the outside of the ship in spacesuits why would that be any different than just hiding on the inside <laughs> was it just a, a thing to put them in spacesuits and then she had a spacesuit made for glimmer i don't know <laughs> I don't know. It would have been great if it had just shown us like her make these things. But they get out and um, I have a question for all you guys. Is this a boob window or is this some type of like uh, ornament gem thing? Because Bo has a ab window and you can see like the little ab line. But here you see no cleavage or anything. So you can't tell if this thing is actually a boob window. And Entrapta has breasts, like unlike some of the other characters that just don't have anything. She actually has, you know, something there. So there would be some type of cleavage. I don't know. It's weird. Why even do it? It's ridiculous. But apparently they, um, <laughs> I'm laughing because it's so stupid. They have like earpieces on so they could be cool, tactical, right? So they could like be like on mission. Man, they didn't find us. Good. Be quick and don't get caught. And then, like, they're talking to a door, and a door's like, you know, okay, guys, uh, sneak around. <laughs> She's surrounded by horde, the horde clones. They, they can hear her. They should I can hear you. You cannot whisper low enough for people not to hear you standing that close. There should have been some type of, I don't know, maybe um, she had like a palm device where she can like type in short messages or something where she can do it with her hand, like in her pocket or something. But this whispering, 
all these clones heard you. What, what did she think that they were deaf? I hate this so much. <laughs> it's it, just get to Adora and Catra. Just get to it. That's, that's all that matters. So we they all split up because they're looking for a server room and there's got to be something in there that has his weakness. Why, why, why would he have that on there? Why would he have a weakness for himself in his own computer? What a what a dumb thing to go look for. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, just get to the door and catch her. Uh, so they're going to split up. Uh, Glimmer's going to go look for Catra because she kind of knows a little bit where she's going, but not really. And then Entrapped and Bo are going to go off and look for the server room. So that that's the mission. While Adora keeps uh, Horror Prime talking, they're going to be doing this, uh, you know, side mission thing. <sighs> they get to the broom, and then you have to go in by yourself. And this is actually, uh, I'm going to try to find nice things to say about this episode. This this little walking in sequence is pretty cool. We get, um, it's big, it's ominous, it's scary, it's, uh, it's foreboding. We uh, get like a first person view of walking, like if we were a door walking up these steps. That's pretty cool. I like that. It's one of the few things I actually like about this episode. Uh, then we get to, uh, I guess Horde Prime has to do, uh, remember how Darth Vader had his little chamber where he had to like revitalize himself? Very similar to that, but this is like with green goop. Then he's like, finally, at last we meet. Uh, we get back to Glimmer and... This is weird. Um, there should God, there should have been so many more episodes, but uh, she starts getting like lost and getting scared. Why is she getting scared? See, I understand she was a prisoner, but she wasn't even a prisoner that long because we don't know how much time has passed. N nothing. There's no indication to let us know that how long Glimmer has been in here. If Glimmer was undergoing, I'm not saying like torture, but you know, being in captivity and everything, she can have like these feelings of being back in these halls and how it could scare you. But none of that, there's no buildup to that, but I can only assume that's what's happening because she's starting to like hyperventilate and starting to freak out. And then she decides to start flirting with Bo. You okay? <sighs> what? You worried about me? Maybe. Just be careful, okay? Yeah. You too. That, that's flirting, right? Oh, are you thinking about me? <laughs> Stay on mission. <laughs> Take a cold shower, Glimmer, my goodness. <laughs> But uh, they're still looking for this thing, and then like, um, Entrapped is trying to scan stuff, but it, there's so much. Like, and she doesn't understand that she wants to understand everything, but they're not going to be able to. So she's trying to figure out where all this stuff is and everything. And then they start seeing um, some of the clones walking around. So like, you know, Bo's kind of grabbing Entrapped. Like, let's let's get going. Let's get out of here. We have to hide. They just so happen to come across an open room, and um, it's like I don't know. It's it, is this one of the? Um, it's like a a cloning chamber or something. So they get in there and Entrapta has one of her, I, I, I don't know, one of her technogasms. Is, is that what the, <laughs> where she sees technology and she gets all like hot and bothered? Uh. So she sees all these clones and everything. And then they do the silly joke that they uh, did. Remember when they tricked Scorpia and they say like, Oh, we're the inspectors. And like, she believed it. So he tries to do the same thing and it doesn't work. And they start a fight. Right at this moment, I, I'm assuming Horde Prime knows this is happening, and he doesn't care that it's happening. But but why? So that they're starting to fight, and then Adora's like, "Oh crap!" You know, my my buddies are getting attacked. Then we get this whole drawn out dialogue between uh, Horde Prime and Adora, and Adora's trying to be big. I'm the biggest, baddest bitch in the in the the galaxy. This is how it's gonna work. You're gonna give me Catra, and I'm gonna get out of here because <laughs> I have the power of the weapon, and if I want to use it, I'm gonna use it on you. And it's like, no. <laughs> This whole time, and I thought, I'm like, I'm laughing, and then Horde Prime starts laughing. I was like, yeah, dumb dumb. If you were going to use this weapon on me, you would have done it already. You wouldn't have, like, waited, and you weren't going to try to hurt Catra because I know how much she means to you. Because he, he downloaded all her memories and stuff. So, he just laughs in her face, as he as he should, because, Adora, you're an idiot. You think you're smarter than me? There's not many people Adora smarter than, and Horde Prime isn't one of them. So, he's just, you know, just kind of laughing at her and everything, and just kind of like, oh... You know, my, I'll be part of like my, my collective and all that stuff. And But here's the thing. He doesn't, ha I, it would have made so much more sense if he had a bunch of other types of creatures that like gave themselves to Horde, the, you know, to the, the way of the light, like joined his religion. But it's just nothing but his clones. So he obviously kills everything he comes across. And then eventually he takes one of their bodies, but then he makes all the clones like that one. It, it, they don't explain much. He, he basically explain. you know, he just talks about how like, you know, he just throws away what he doesn't need and gets a new one. He uses their bodies to, to uh, keep him alive because he's been alive, he says, for centuries. So he's, he's at the very least 200 years old. He's probably like a thousand years old. 
So he's like, I know all these things. You, you can't trick me. But they kind of do. Then, you know, the creepy face touching because that, that's a staple of this show. He's like, you're not giving up Catra. I Like, I, I cured her. I made her better. <laughs> I forgot to mention this. This is going to be added in after the fact. Sorry about that. But Horde Prime did mention he took out the whole first one's race. Like, he went to war with them, I'm guessing, hundreds and hundreds of years ago. And that he thought he got rid of all of them because he recognized the door. And I haven't seen a face like this. So, I guess first ones look like Adora, but... So he went to war with them in the past. So that's why in the trailer, when he said, oh, my oldest enemy, I'm like, how does that make any damn sense? He understood this. So he knows that she's a, a, an original person from the first ones, which would be from Eternia. But I don't know how they're going to, I don't think they're going to bring in the He-Man master of the universe. So I don't know. That, that That's an interesting thing that he went to war with them, but it makes it even more stupid that it's been all these years and he's still... He ends up still losing to a bunch of teenagers, but whatever. Again, I'm going to spice this in somewhere, so right back to the regular review. Get back to Bone and Trapta, and they're fighting. And God, that, that little hole in this thing, it looks so stupid. And Trapta's not helping fight, even though she's like actually good at fighting. Like like she can use her hair and like do stuff. And this whole, this whole season so far, she's done nothing. She's trying to get out the door. She's going to abandon Bo. Nice one, Entrapta. But she sees our Hardak, like him there. Can there, the convenience of this show is beyond ridiculous. There's little things like if you had to have her find Hordak, why not make it to where they knock out these two guards, then they're going through the computer and then she sees like the information and she's like, oh, she finds him, then she brings him like, because it's like, a, you know, kind of like how a uh, dry cleaner works. So there's all these freaking clones and she brings him down. No, he just is already there. Do it better. There's the, we got to get to Ad uh, Adora and Catra. That's all we got to get to. So she tries to go up to him and like, you know, hey, hey, what's up, Hordy? <laughs> Hord I don't know she had any pet names for him, but Hordak, do you, do you do you remember this? And she brings out the that little like symbol she made for him on his power armor. And it says love. Do you remember me? And then he starts like screaming at her and everything. And it yanks her by her hair. Like that must have freaking hurt. But um, he's like, no, you've, you are a trespasser. Ugh, Horde Prime, will, his punishment will be swift. And, and then... You know, he keeps going on and on about how great Whore Prime is, and then a bow just hits him in the chest. Prime shall hear of this, and his punishment shall be merciless, for Prime sees all. Okay, that was a little bit funny. But then it starts getting... Do you... See, like, I, I dislike Catra, and I dislike Adora, and I think they're dumb characters, but I wouldn't want to make them go through things like this, to where, like... We laugh at them and we degrade them and we just bring them down to nothing. So Hor Prime gets shocked and he lands on Bo. And I guess Adora, uh, not Adora, but uh, Entrapta, this was like a side plan. She wanted to save. Then Hordak has been cut from the collective and then he just throws a baby fit. Tears and sobbing and everything. What? Do, do people want to see the, this character be as pathetic as possible? You can have all these same emotions about him blubbering like a little baby. Like, and, and it's not, I'm, I'm, I'm no joke. He's crying so much. He's got like the, the, the boogers coming over his nose. <laughs> I'm, I'm separated from Horde Prime. What am, what am I going to do? do? I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's it's as pathetic as you can get, and then Bo's like, "Oh, don't worry, buddy, you're great. We'll we'll to tell Horde Prime together, and then he'll know how how much of a great you know follower you are." Then he's like, "You do that for me? Is this comedic, or is this supposed to be sympathetic?" It kind of comes off as like a mean spirited, like you're so pathetically weak. Let's all laugh at you. That that's the way I I see this. He's going to like help them, and Bo's like, "No, no, no, you stay here. We'll go tell Horde Prime." He's like, "No, let me go with you." And he's able to like open the door, so I guess they can use him. And then, of course, Entrapped is super happy because she gets her uh, her husband back. <laughs> and he's like, how pathetic he is! I just his, sh his shoulders are slumped. He is completely, utterly just defeated as a man. He's nothing left in him. They finally agree to to go. Okay, take me with you. And like, since he's so like you know hurt, they have to like carry him. So like, Bo has to do all the carrying, even though Entrapped his hair is like incredibly strong. She could just carry him. Whatever. Get back to Glimmer. She finds the cell, but Catcher isn't there. So this place only has one cell. It's so see, this is the stuff where you you write in the stuff. You know things like when, uh, just like my previous idea, where Entrapta found Hordak. She also found what cell Catcher would have been in, and then relay that information to Glimmer. Then Glimmer finds it. No, she just so happens to find a cell, and she thinks this is her, but she's not there. She tells everyone. Then Adora's like, "Okay, 
I have to know where Catra is. And then, you know, oh, give up Catra to me, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, oh, don't worry about her. She, she's going to be right here. And then he brings her forth and she has her uh, her robes on and everything. So he uh, mind controlled her and they, he cut her hair. Oh, it's awful. This short hair on Catra is absolutely terrible looking. Oh, but I guess, you know, Horror Prime doesn't care about that. But, oh, it's just, oh, it's gross. And it just makes her ears look even more ridiculous because they're just plastic. They're just slapped onto the side of her head instead of out of the top of her head, like how a real cat would be. But whatever. But you see, she gets the glowy, glowy green eyes, so she's been taken over. Get back to. <laughs> they kept calling him fake Hordak or not Hordak or something. Whatever. I'm calling. He's our Hordak. You know, and he's like walking around with them, and then they're like, "We can't find the server room. Do you know where it is?" Because it's all confusing. No, this place was made for only those who are with previewed information could access it, but not me, for I don't have the connection. Like he just goes on and on, and he slumps and he's crying. And uh, uh, pathetic characters aren't fun to watch. It's sad. <laughs> but there's a big energy source here. It must be here. So they just happen to walk by it. I hate this so much. There's so much coincidence. You can do it a couple of times. When you're writing, and you just gotta figure out all the the hero finds the thing. They do it too damn much. So they find this big energy source in this room. So it has to be in. It looks like a big, um, I don't get, I guess this is the server room because that's what people have server rooms because I'm a technical person. I like how the green background here. So if you guys want to chroma key this out with something funny, you totally can. But, um, we get back to Adora and there's Catra, but she's robot Catra. No, she's not robotic, but she has like that kind of like I've been taken over type of voice. Oh, he made me, I used to be angry and full of rage, but not anymore. I can, I'll never be abandoned. I am part of this family. You know, that whole like, uh, I get it, whatever, blah, 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 blah. It goes on for a little while. Then we get inappropriate face touching again, because that's uh, a staple. Oh, Adora, you're so dumb. And uh, I'm talking all kinds of crap to her. Come on, break it. You're better than this. You know, trying to like, um, <laughs> trying to like get her to like break the mind control. What is this? Scott Pilgrim, like literally has the chip on the back of her neck. Can anyone think of anything original anymore? They had to do something to where she could break it. Because why would he have something where you could just get to it and just deactivate it? Why, why even have such a thing? But he's like, forget it. You're a dummy. You know, just give yourself up. Give me Shira, and then everyone can be saved. And she's like, no, I'll never give up Shira. Okay, fine. Then she he sl he snaps his fingers and it short circuits all their earpieces. What what sense does that make? Like, how what? <laughs> okay, so he knew that they were there the whole time, but he allowed them to do all these things. Glimmer. Uh, is running away and she finds that room remember where all the trophies were so there were some weapons in there so she grabs a stick and um you won't believe what she does with it <laughs> get back to adora and catra and this is where uh, it's uh his own hubris he loses because he thinks she's so much better i hate that in a villain because they it's used too often. It's used to, because you make this big, powerful, ultimate villain with all the strength and everything, and he only loses because he's an idiot. Even though he's conquered countless worlds, these are the dum dums to trick him. Uh, I I hate that device. I absolutely hate it. But we see that Catcher's eyes go normal for a second. Oh, so she is able to beat it because she loves Adora so much. Uh, mm, okay, I'll leave you here with Catra so you guys can... Do a little catching up. <laughs> so they're going to have a fight. And the fight's awful. We get back to Glimmer. So she gets one of the, the, the weapons and um, proceeds to beat the ever-living crap out of all these Hordak. What is she? 16-year-old girl. Overweight. Not very um, athletic. She's not strong. She has the power of the strength of an average teenage girl who's not very active. This uh, uh, why why couldn't she get a like an energy weapon like he had like a, like the staff could shoot something out and that's what she uses to beat them no she just beats them with the stick with the fat girl with the stick <laughs> I don't know what to say I don't know if that's me that's mean I guess but it just boggles my mind that these writers don't even care to have this make any damn sense so Catra and Adora are fighting and it, it's a it's a it's a terrible fight and it's kind of like Adora isn't trying to hurt Catra because that's her friend and it's gonna have this big dialogue come on Catra you can do this you can beat this. And, oh, hmm, yeah, I've already been abandoned by you. You broke my heart, but uh, Hordak killed. And then we get more inappropriate grabbing and touching and holding. Um, if Catra was a guy, the internet would have freaking exploded because all of this kind of stuff right here, it's it's really uh, inappropriate. Then, you know, but uh, Adora isn't a, they just go back and forth and she's laughing at her. It's just really, really, people like this. It's really stupid. It just goes back and forth, back and forth. Oh, you abandoned me. Oh, you don't care. Oh, come on, Catra, you can do it. Oh, no. <laughs> goes back and forth. <laughs> Catcher almost like slips, but then like a door's like, no, no, don't fall. And then she like saves her. Was she like going to try to kill herself? 
Or she like it's weird because they end up they do end up falling off this thing and they don't even get hurt. It's really dumb. But she's like, no, and she like grabs her and then um this must be because of sensors. She like we see we hear the noise like a but she just ripped her shirt. <laughs> oh Adora. <laughs> oh no, you bastard, my only shirt. <laughs> shirt ripper. Why did that hurt? Why did she make this face? There's no pain. She didn't break the skin. She didn't even break the second layer of her other shirt. <laughs> oh god, this show's so stupid. But more more like weird touching and hugging and everything, but like the mind control thing's getting all funky. She's gonna throw a door off the edge. Get back to um Bo and Entrapta, they're fighting off all the clones because these clones they they can't even they don't do anything. If Glimmer can beat them with a stick, anyone can beat these things. And Trapped is like, I can't figure this out. This this uh, this mainframe, this server thing is way more complicated than I ever could have imagined. It's like a membrane that travels all across space. And Bo's like, what the hell are you talking about? What does it even mean? And she's like, it's going to take a lot longer for me to try to figure anything out. Then like the other Hordak tries to help. He's like, brothers, we're all serve Horde Prime. Why must we fight? And he just kind of tosses his ass aside. It's really funny. But and then Bo was like cowering. Like, look at this. Oh no, don't kill me. And then Glimmer has to save him. Bo, you, you went down a notch. <laughs> I can understand facing your enemy and be like, okay, you're going to kill me. Do I'm going to, I'm going to, but he's cowering like a, look at this. Look at this. <sighs> I guys got time to stick it to him. I know she says something stupid. <laughs> and we look back, she laid waste to all of them. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, sure she did. Then they're like, okay, it doesn't matter. We got to get the hell out of here. We're not going to figure this out. Uh, at least we can try to bash the place up a little bit. So she just stabs this thing and it starts to blow up. I don't know if this had any effect on anything. Did this affect Catra? Did this affect Horde Prime? Or did it just like blow up this little room? And just a stab from a stick allowed it, made it explode? What is it, made of bombs? Well, that's why it's just it's a type of energy weapon where she kept shooting it and it like made it overheat or something. No, she just stabs it and it literally causes it to freaking explode. Like the whole room blows up. Huh? You guys are not in space. This is, I don't know how deep into the ship or this thing is. It's, it's, I hate this so much. Get back to Catcher and Adora. The only thing that matters. And she's like holding over the edge. Again, more, more, more back and forth talking. I'm not giving up on you. I'm your friend. Then they keep showing the little thing in the back of her neck just in case you don't get it. Just in case you're a freaking idiot and you don't understand that. Oh yeah, she says to break it. And that's it. She just has to break it. And then I guess that from Glimmer stabbing that thing made this like glass explode. Why would it do that? And look how it explodes. Again, were these screens made of bombs? <laughs> then they kind of crash on the ground. And I guess Katra has been hitting the back of her neck during this fight. And it's been like... um causing it to kind of short circuit and doesn't Adora look so much nicer with her hair down I I, I don't know I, I love this she looks really cute here I love it <laughs> but then Adora's like why did you come back you dumb dumb I wasn't gonna leave you these weird feelings make no sense because every time they've seen each other from this point backwards they were trying to kill each other there really really should have been some more like a reconnection here where like a couple of episodes where like Adora gets captured, she's on her too. And then, you know, they kind of interact back and forth and they kind of like reignite whatever love that they did have for each other. No, it just comes back and it just, it just feels rushed and so ham-fisted. Then like Catra is saying, you know, I'm worthless. Why did you even come back for me? Is she going to go kill herself? Like I'm going to throw myself off this ledge because that's what it looks like she's trying to do. And then, um, a Horde Prime is uh, still has a little bit of control over her. She's trying to reach out to Adora. They get the hand, but ha, he take he literally takes over her whole body. Oh, you all, you failed creatures, you're nothing, and da 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 back and forth. So does a little shock thing, and it shocks the back of her neck. I'm assuming. Oh, that's the the kill, right? She's dead. Like it severed her spinal cord. It uh, blew her brain up. It it did something. I'm assuming it didn't do anything. <laughs> so she falls down this thing then just crashes in the ground and then the door falls after her we don't know how deep this is but i guess it's it wasn't too far it, 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 you wouldn't want to do it in real life but of course cartoon logic she tries to stand but she falls so i'm assuming did she break her leg or like twist her ankle she runs over to catch her then grabs her and um look at this this right here Doesn't this look ridiculous God, the art is so ugly remember anyone if you if someone falls off of something and they may or may not have a spinal injury move them around a lot that's really it's a good idea so she goes to cradle her because she loves her so much. She gets surrounded by a bunch of the other Hordax and then they're like, hey, 
you know, it was such a waste. Give up now. Just give us what we want. So turn into she And just like I predicted, um, she was going to be able to form an energy sword. And I, I wish she would have went on some type of a journey and regained like her she ness No, she just finds it in herself without any real training. Ugh, I hate it so much. So she turns into she and I like this design so much better. It's a, it's more sleek. It, um, it, it's just a cooler looking design. There's a couple, I have a couple things with it. It, this weird back skirt thing. Like it looks like she's just wearing a really long shirt in the back. Give her a skirt or don't give her a skirt. Don't do this weird half thing. The top, these, uh, gold bands on her thighs. Are these the tops of her boots? Or are they just thigh bands? And she's wearing like a, a one piece, like unitard thing. Because if these are the boots, they're, they're skin tight. And you don't see a gap between like the thigh and the, uh, and the boot and these boots are up so high like in some of these scenes where the gold bands are they would actually be up around her butt those are some long ass boots <laughs> anyways overall i think design is so much better and again i, I i'm only uh, she has a spinal injury you killed your friend because look how you're holding her but it's supposed to be this over dramatic this is my lover kind of holding pose like she just swooned then we get this battle here and look at these screenshots <laughs> Look at this. Look at the sword. Look at Catra. Look at this. I know this is like an action scene. And if you pause most action scenes, you see some funny stuff in, in, in a lot of cartoons. But man, this is ridiculously stupid. Remember how uh, Glimmer, the, the overweight, non-athletic uh, teenage girl, defeated a whole whole 12 of these dudes. she could just fart in the room and kill all these guys. There's, they stand no chance. <laughs> they stand no chance. So she beats the living hell out of everyone while flinging Catra around in her arms. <laughs> you know, snapping her spine and all those fun things. <laughs> she does like a... She learns all these new abilities she never trained. She just does them. She has like this uh, laser blast thing. And then she has like a sword swipey thing where she like swipes around and like shoots out beams. Uh, I hate all this. And then, oh, you underestimated me. Of course we did. Uh, we get back to the idiots. They're running around and... And Trapped is dragging uh, Hordak around like, whoa. And he even has like all this worried look on his face all the damn time. They get surrounded, but they're scared. And I'm thinking, didn't Glimmer just knock out like 10 of these guys with a stick? An effing stick? So you have Bo and Trapped. You have enough here. You can fight all these guys. You just need a couple of teenagers. So they're surrounded and scared and for, for no reason because they've shown that they can just fight these guys. And uh, Trapped is like, hey, I can get us out of here. But remember, you told me not to mess with the ship. And Bo's like, don't worry about it. Message you probably want. Just get the hell out of here. She summons the ship, so the ship smashed its way through to where she was? How is that even possible? I, I can understand it at speed, but it's docked in that place, and you think they would have secured it somehow. Remember that big gorilla thing she made on um, Beast Island? That was cool. What if she did something where the ship could, like, transform into some type of like a battle mode so it can like you know punch its way through or cut its way through no it just there's a big crash and there it is so lazy they're like we have to go back and get adora they can look back and then we have this pose the the most generic pose ever i mean it's straight out of hercules i mean look at the same when when uh, he goes get uh meg it's exactly the same the light and everything <laughs> like oh wow she was back that's so awesome which is cool because she was back she uh, makes her sword, and this is where she does like a, I do five swipes and then push it out, and then it's like a, a move. What did she, I don't like the idea of like heroes just learning, like getting moves out of nowhere, they just pull them out of their butt. So they get onto the ship, and the ship's like, error, we have no energy, we don't have enough to get off the interplanetary travels, not, you know, not recommended. Then she just puts her hand on the thing, and then it's like, administrator, get us home, and that's it. So did she transfer power into the ship? Did, I, may, I think I'm, I'm assuming she must have because how would it just because I don't. This is where uh, Adora. This is where Shira should have put her sword like in a like a thing should open up and she puts her sword in there and then like the whole console thing powers up and then the ship becomes more powerful than it ever was. She just touches it and tells it what to do. Why, why not give us something cool like that? So they take off. They're on their way home and they got away. Why doesn't? Horde Prime start targeting the ship and shoot it with everything you got. Why doesn't he just say kill every single last person on Etheria this instant? F this dumb planet. I don't get it. I, these, these bad guys are beyond stupid. So Catra's just laying on the floor because she she dead. She died because you snapped her spine because you kept swinging her around like an idiot. Then we get to what everyone cared about. They didn't care about all that stuff I brought up. They didn't care. They're not going to care. They're going to be in the comments and they're not going to care about any of those plot holes, horrible storytelling, terrible science fiction. And she just gives it the forehead, 
you know, uh, rub of lesbians that brings you back to life. And boom, there she goes. She's back to life. And look at her snuggling up against her, her bosoms. How wonderful. And um, yeah, there you go. Hooray. Uh, Kodora is a thing. And it's the only thing people cared about from the very beginning. Love your abusers, everybody. The Horde clones are cleaning up after their horrendous blunder. And they find that little entrapped thingy that said love. And then the clone's like, entrapped her? So this thing, is this the, so they didn't bring Hordak with them? into the ship. I wasn't paying attention. I don't care. And so I'm assuming he's back there and he's going to end up doing something to, you know, save. So this was your best episode. A lot of people said, and I even know all Stevenson, this is on a sock close to my heart. <laughs> so is this someone who abused you mentally, physically for years, tried to kill you and your friends, try to kill the whole planet. Oh, they felt a little bad. Now I'm in love with you. This seems like a, a relationship that's going to end up in a lot of pain. And because these, you don't just become good. Getting into a relationship doesn't automatically make you that good person. There needs to be some real growth and Catra really needs to become a better person by herself because you can't love any, you can't, she can't love Adora because she doesn't love herself. If you have no respect for yourself, you can't have respect for anyone else. So Catra needs to find Catra, but there's not enough episodes for that. I would have done four episodes of, of Catra all on her own, discovering her own self-worth. And yes, being with Adora is wonderful and it's great and I love her and we can be together, but I've done some horrible things. And I, I need to, you know, come clean with that and I have to make it better. If I end up with the girl that I love, then so be it. But what's more important is doing the right thing. That's not the that's not the case here. The most important thing is to get into a relationship. No. If you have a, a lot of these kinds of like anger feelings and being in a relationship is not going to solve that problem. But according to Noel Stevenson, if someone abuses you, date them. It makes them better. So yeah, episode five, I don't know. You bastards lied to me. This this wasn't very good at all. But um, yeah, this just means I'm one step closer to being done. And um, yeah, uh, I can't see where they go on from here because why doesn't Horde Prime just wipe the planet clean? But whatever. <coughs> Crimson Sane here. Thanks for watching the video. If you're enjoying the content, be sure to sub, like, share, and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss a single upload. If you have any tips or story ideas, hit us up on Twitter at C15Podcast, or better yet, join our Discord server. Link in the description below.